Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can use POST API with the input fields. So here we will take some input fields like uh, email, uh, age and name. We will take uh, some input fields, store these input fields data in a state. After that we will uh, pass this state data to the POST API and test it properly like everything is working fine or not, right? Even in last part, oh, I already told you that how we can uh, use a POST API with the static data. But here we will use dynamic data or you can say that form data or input field data whatever you want to see so all right guys now we can start with code so this is our emulator and here we will write our code so this is our, this is our db.json file so i'll just show you there like data is added or not once we will uh, just create the complete api call and all okay so first of all i need to just add a input field so let me add text input and uh, let me just add in the component also text input and after that we can uh, just add their placeholder also let's say placeholder enter name uh, but uh, this is not look like a input field so we can add some style also there right so i will just import style sheet create a, another constant styles so then we will use style sheet dot create and uh, there we will uh, put some uh, items for style let's say i am just putting their input and for input first of all we will just give some margin from all side let's say 20 pixel yep uh, and this is not applied yet so i will apply it let's say style is styles dot input here we go but we have to add some border also so i'm just putting there border color it could be let's say sky blue And we can also add their border width. Border width could be let's say one pixel. Perfect. And uh, we can add some font size also. Font size could be let's say 20. Now it's actually look like an input field. Okay. Even if you want, then you can add some other style also. But my focus is actually showing how we can call a post API. So I will stick with that one. Okay, so after that. Uh, we can just create a button also there so let's just import a button and uh, let's add some title to the button also let's say save data or something and just put their own press uh, i will just create an function within a moment so for first of all let's let me define one state also right constant and state name could be let's say name and set name for update the state right use state by default value could be empty so once we will just start typing there on change text right there is an event uh, that will call whenever we are just start typing there which is event name is on text change right so whenever we will just type something there then uh, we can update it uh, with the own change text event so let's set let's uh, set the name there with this text like this right and we have to just enter the value also there values let's say uh, name whatever name we are entering right so how we can check that the whatever we are entering in this uh, text field is actually we got in the name state also so that i am just creating another function also let's see const um, save data or any name whatever you like you can just put there and there let's just create a const and uh, we can just say that name right 
So once we will just call this function on press, which is save data, then the value of name should be printed there. So I'm just let's say putting there Anil. This is my name and this face Sindhu. And whenever I am just pressing on the save data, here you can see that this name is printed. That means inside the name state, we are able to get the value of uh, this input field. Perfect. So after that, what we can do that we need uh, some more input fields. Second one for uh, uh, age or, or and let's say third for uh, email ID, right? And similarly, we need three state or states also. So first state is name, second one is age, and to set it, we can say that set age is let's say zero, right? and uh, again email set email could be let's say again empty we can save it after that what we can do mm -hmm. yep so let me just change the value of uh, name of the second one which is enter age and we can just sync value with the age state and we can update the age there and last one is enter email sync email state with this field and update the email state perfect so after that if you want to check you can also put their uh, name we already checked there right so in the same way we can just add age and email also but in a console we can just okay we don't need to check like this so we can see that name age and uh, email we can just console all of these at the one time so i'm adding there let's say sunny age is uh, let's say 20 email is abc test.com let's see is it working or not so if i just click over the save data here you can see that we got all data there right abc name is some everything so now the last thing that we need to do we have to pass this data to the api for that we need a url of api right so what i'm going to do there i am taking a const url and we have to change this even i already told you just uh, one before this video like we cannot access the ip directly or with the local host right uh, our local host in the uh, emulator that time we have to use 10.0.2.2 right we have to do that perfect and we need only one dot at a time after that we can just create this function async reason being because uh, there we will use await uh, api method right so let me take set result is fetch and we can pass the url not only url we have to pass the methods and all because we are using their post api method right so the next thing is method and method will be post it could be small or captions whatever want to uh, just add there you can do that but it should be just post there right and the other thing is header for header uh, we can add the content type content type and it will be application json and last one is we have to send the body also and whenever we will send the body we have to convert in the stringify format so let's convert this json to the string of format and then create object put there name will be name after that email is email and last thing is uh, age will be the age right because we are storing three values but if the value and key both has the same uh, name then you can just remove one just keep one only uh, JavaScript will automatically understand that we want to just store this data in the same key. Alright. And uh, 
it should be again inside the result all right after that let's override the result once await and we also use have to put the await there also right just convert read stream to the json format result dot json like this and if result is perfectly fine then you can just add any console alert or any custom message with the css and you can just say that uh, data is added all right so now let me just we can just uh, refresh our application once and currently you can see that last data is basically tony uh, on the you can check in the browser or you can check this file in the uh, code editor also right so now just i am trying to add sunny there sunny even if you want then you can uh, just uh, uh, type or you can just just add this name with the uh, keyboard also right so uh, let's say you want to add some email then you can also do that with from there also but this is bit slow so i'm just adding there sunny at the rate test.com computers give it a bit faster then right so i'm just uh, clicking on the save data and now you can see that one more entry is there because json file is already open there and data is added and if you want to check on the browser this is still working fine right so let's say we want to add one more data let's say we are adding batman age is let's say 45 and uh, batman at the rate test.com is our email address so again i am saving it and we got one more data and data is added there is a warning also so that's all for this part i hope you just get to know how we can use post api with the input field one thing that you can do by you can try by on which is you can add their validations like at least field should not be empty there all right so and even i'll tell you uh, like how we can put the simple validation in the next part but uh, that's okay for a moment you can try and thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section and this is my paytm donation thank you guys